So good afternoon. <coughs> My name is Leo Kubar, and I'm a working in the laboratory of faculty of mathematical communities in the Nagratsky Institute of Microbiology. And today I'll speak about uh, novel traumatic microorganisms and uh, their possible applications in uh, biotechnology. Uh, so, uh, in the beginning, we'll be short description of what is going to be microorganisms, then I'll speak about their uh, habitats. Uh, then about two uh, novel metabolic groups uh, discovered in our laboratory, thermophilic hydrogenogenic thermophilic microorganisms and thermophilic metabolic microorganisms. And in the end I'll speak about uh, thermophilic hydrogenic microorganisms and uh, the, their enzymes. Uh, so, uh, next slide. Uh, so, what does it mean, uh, thermophilic microorganisms? Very briefly, all, uh, or all organisms and microorganisms uh, are divided on sacrophiles uh, uh, by their temperature of, of growth, uh, dividing on sacrophiles, which is growing in very low temperature, mesophiles, which is growing in the temperature near uh, the temperature of our body, and uh, three, roughly three groups of thermophiles, uh, modern thermophiles, which is growing at uh, 50 to 60 degrees, external thermophiles, which is growing. Uh, uh, Temperatures between 70 and 80, and hyperthermophiles, which is growing at temperatures higher than 80 degrees. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, uh, thermophiles could be uh, isolated from various environments, uh, as anthropogenic uh, environments like uh, compost piles, uh, high, uh, high temperature oil reservoirs, uh, or uh, metal ores, but, uh, but uh, the uh, uh, the majority of them were, were isolated from the uh, geothermal, geothermal uh, environments like terrestrial hot springs, uh, shallow water submarine uh, hot plants, and deep sea hot plants. Uh, next one, please. Here is presented the main uh, sites of geothermal, uh, geothermal activity, and here is the Pulong Caldera, we have isolated many springs from here. Uh, very famous region uh, in Italy, uh, 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 Island, uh, Island, Mid Atlantic Ridge, Yellowstone National Park in the USA, uh, New Zealand, Japan, and uh, several others. So, uh, uh, now laboratory we have more than 200 strains of thermophilic and external thermophilic and hydrothermophilic bacteria. Uh, many of them uh, represent uh, uh, novel uh, taxonomy groups from uh, species to even to phylum. Uh, the phylum is the highest taxonomy level of uh, uh, life. Uh, uh, some, of, some of them represent a uh, novel metabolic group, I will speak about it later. And uh, we hope that all of them are nice sources of uh, many tumor stable enzymes. Uh, next, please. A uh, few words about advantages of thermophilic microorganisms. Uh, the, the main advantage is that the, uh, the risk of contamination is low. So, uh, in, in, for example, your uh, 1,000 cubic meters uh, fermenter, uh, nobody can, uh, nobody uh, uh, like uh, some stranger, some garbage uh, bacteria will survive there uh, on the thermophiles in these temperatures. Uh, high temperatures allows uh, to work with high substrate concentration due to this viscosity degrees. It's, uh, for example, for starch, starch uh, hydrolysis could be uh, important. And sometimes industrial process uh, require high temperatures. Uh, next, please. Uh, not only microorganisms, but the enzymes, so called thermozymes, uh, have uh, several advantages. Uh, first of all, uh, and the main advantage is stability. It's thermal stability, stability to different agents like the natural agents, the detergent solvents, and so on. Again, uh, uh, viscosity question, and also uh, is, it's easy to, it's more or less easy to purificate uh, to my stable enzymes from, uh, or coming out to my, st uh, to my stable enzymes from them, mesophilic uh, hosts like E. coli. Uh, so next slide, like this. Uh, beginning from um, uh, our microorganisms. The first uh, metabolic group uh, discovered in, in, in our lab is thermophilic hydrogenogenic carboxylic troughs. They uh, performing the simple reaction uh, uh, 
conversion CO and water to CO2 in hydrogen. The first uh, strain was, was isolated in 1991 by Vitalis Petition. By the way, he is working in Germany now. Germany now. And uh, next slide, please. Uh, since that time, we had isolated six novel genera and ten novel species of different traumatic and hypertraumatic bacteria and archaea, and many, many, much, much, much more uh, strains uh, without taxonomic uh, identification. Uh, uh, they are growing at temperatures probably from 55 to 98 degrees and uh, in CO concentration up to 100%. Not, of them, not all of them can grow at 100%, but some of them can. Uh, next slide, please. The possible application is to uh, uh, formation of uh, uh, hydrogen from syngas, uh, from CO detoxification. Uh, Many of them know better than me this, the possible applications, and we are free to discuss it later. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the next group is uh, traumatic metal reducing prokaryotes. Uh, first of all, it's uh, traumatic ferric iron reducers. Uh, they uh, uh, reduce ferric iron uh, into ferrous iron. You can see it here. Ferric iron is red. It should be. It's difficult to see, but it's red. Uh, and uh, pearl siren uh, in, in form of magnetite, uh, it's black and it's uh, attaching to a magneto. Uh, magnetite is forming in, uh, as a nano, nanoparticles, next slide please, which are uh, attached to, to the cells, or sometimes not, so, uh, sometimes it, uh, it's, uh, the particles are lays in some distance from the cell, but cells uh, has different uh, mechanisms. Uh, one, of them, one of them is uh, the special electron transfer pili, special structure which uh, moves electrons uh, to ferric iron to make a ferrous iron. Um, next slide, please. Uh, again, in our laboratory, uh, uh, we have five no we, we have isolated five novel genera and 18 novel species of uh, these microorganisms. And many, 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 many strains, which is uh, uh, they uh, represent bacteria and archaea also. Archaea are more uh, uh, thermophilic, and they are growing in, from the temperatures to from 55 to 100 degrees. Next, please. Uh, this organism, some of them can uh, reduce not only uh, ferric iron but uh, radionuclides like uranium and technetium. Uh, as well as next slide, please. As well as noble metals like gold, uh, palladium, and platinum. Uh, that could be possible application of this uh, 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 microorganisms. Next slide, please. And uh, the possible applications: it's uh, um, producing uh, of uh, siren generous is controlled with structure. Uh, as I told about uh, magnetite, with a, uh, which is forming in, uh, as uh, nanoparticles, uh, reductive precipitation of toxic metals in radium lights, recovery of novel metals, uh, production of novel to stable redox uh, active enzymes like spectrums, uh, and uh, uh, electricity generation via microbial fuel cells. I have a slide here, but I, I made it hidden because. I'm running loud. Uh, I'm running out of time. We can discuss it later if you, if you will be interested. Uh, and the last group uh, I wanted to speak about today is uh, thermophilic hydrolytic microorganisms and their thermostable hydrolases. Uh, thermophilic mi uh, 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 hydrolytic microorganisms uh, means that these organisms are able to grow on different polymers. Uh, carbohydrates like cellulose, silent, and gross chitin, uh, lamisurine, pro and proteins, and lipids. Next, please. Uh, uh, I can't, we have a huge collection of these microorganisms. I can't uh, speak about all of them because uh, I don't have enough time. Uh, we can do it later again. Uh, today, I, I want to speak about three uh, most interesting, from my point of view, microorganisms. Uh, most interesting in terms of view of their substrate specific, specific
specificity and uh, also uh, from the point of view uh, of uh, enzymes found in their genomes, so the genomes of several of our, more than 10 of our uh, microorganisms, uh, their sequencing uh, by an engineering center of Russian Academy of Science, and together with them we annotated these genomes and found many very interesting enzymes. So today I'll speak about three uh, organisms. First, first one, actually it was the first genome uh, uh, sequence, uh, it's uh, the Sulfuracocos conchicensis, was it isolated from ozone caldera, from terrestrial hot spring. Uh, it's growing in 85 degrees uh, on different oligo and polysaccharide, peptides and proteins, including alpha keratin. Keratin is uh, very stable uh, proteins to hydrolysis, but this organism was uh, isolated from alpha keratin and it's uh, growing on alpha keratin. Next, please. Uh, as a con consequence, in, in its genome, we uh, found many uh, peptidases and glycosidases coding uh, genes. And the uh, most interesting, uh, I, I put it in the table, it's uh, endoglucotinase, uh, alpha glucosidase, uh, trypsin like serine protease, cysteine amino peptidase, and substitin like serine protease, which is, uh, uh, we think, uh, responsible for alpha keratin hydrolysis. Uh, some of these enzymes were firstly found in Archaea, some of them are novel uh, GH family in, uh, in case of glucosid uh, hydrolysis uh, and so on. Next please. The second microorganism is Timacoccus sibiricus. It was isolated uh, from the uh, hot oil reservoir from the deep depths of 2350 meters. It's growing uh, optimally at uh, well, roughly at 80 degrees, uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, capable to uh, ferment peptides, polysaccharides, and uh, olive oil. So, like this. Uh, next, please. And uh, log logically, in the genome, we found uh, gen many genes coding uh, uh, esterases and particular uh, and lipases in particular, as well as uh, gly uh, glycosidases. Uh, again, the most uh, I suppose the most interesting, uh, I, I put it here, uh, it's uh, beta-agarase, uh, three genes coding, uh, uh, I think it's cellulase, it's better to say it like is it a hydrolase of the uh, developed family, uh, and maybe uh, they present a novel family, so a novel family it means that it possibly uh, they have novel functions uh, and the novel, some novel features. And uh, uh, one very interesting uh, uh, esterase, which is uh, very distant to other known esterases to the moment. And next slide, please. And the uh, third uh, uh, microorganisms, actually, there are two microorganisms representing novel order, that's the Lavalis, uh, was uh, uh, discovered in our lab. Uh, both uh, microorganisms uh, growing at high temperature, optimally, uh, uh, their optimal temperature for growth is 85 degrees. Uh, unlike two pr previous two microorganisms, uh, uh, these uh, uh, strains, they are thermocellophiles. Uh, apart from temperature, they are growing at very low pH, the optimal pH of 3.8. So, uh, uh, and they are, again, they are able to grow on peptides and uh, polysaccharides and uh, uh, possibly the enzymes uh, must uh, have, uh, uh, must be able to, to be very stable to, not only to temperature, but to acidic stress, uh, we hope. Uh, the genome of the second one, that's the Lobus Sacraborans, was uh, sequenced and analyzed. And again, we found here uh, uh, several acid and uh, glutamic, uh, aspartic and glutamic uh, antipeptidases, uh, 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 dif distance from uh, by their se by, by their sequences uh, from uh, the, the known one ones, uh, as well as next slide please, uh, many uh, different because it hydrolases of different uh, specificity like uh, leucamylases, alpha glucosidases, alpha monosidases, methoxylanases and uh, several cellulases. Uh, 
again, this is uh, I think most interesting example. It has much, much, much more. Uh,